Hey everybody, what is going on? It's Dunbar Snack Bar here with MLB 13 The Show and Kevin Millar wrote to the show and this email that you're seeing right here is letting Kevin Millar know that he is now in the starting rotation here in AAA ball. So finally, we have gotten to this point. I really was not enjoying coming out of the bullpen. I mean, one, I, w I am the best pitcher on the team, hands down, you know, by way of overall rankings and stuff like that. So pulling... You know, that type of pitcher out of the bullpen, probably not the smartest idea, but at the same time, this means that I am progressing more towards uh, finally making it to the major league. So we're going to see how long that takes after this video here. But Kevin Millar, man, kind of excited to see what's going to happen in this game. I do worry a little bit because you guys who have been watching this series game in and game out know full well that there were some innings that I had that were just not pretty at all. Games that I ended up losing, I mean, it's been crazy. So as a starting pitcher, there's a lot more consequences, you know, either good or bad for how I end up pitching. So I don't know. If this ends up like double A, though, I'm going to rock this like nothing else. So that's what I'm hoping ends up happening here with Kevin Millar. So now that we've got the opening uh, intro done here just kind of announcing this is his first triple-a start we're gonna go ahead and take the field and of course I'm gonna be starting the game off here very first pitch now ah, the knuckleball too far inside so that's gonna go for ball number one so with the training points that I had prior to this game I did spend it on trying to build up my slider because I use the slider pretty frequently a lot more than I was originally anticipating that I would that in the four seam you know, I, I thought I'd be just throwing knuckleballs all day long, but no, I got to build these other pitches up too. So the slider used, uh, used my points to be able to build that up. Of course, the knuckleball too. I'm just kind of making it so my, uh, you know, hittings, my hittings, wow, hits per inning ends up dropping as well as an increase in strikeouts and it just increased my control of all my pitches too. So I had a lot that I could spend. And that's kind of where it all went. All right, so another ball right here for Kevin Molar on the four-seam fastball. 3-1 count. I mean, I've got to work to get back into this one. That one's going to be for a strike. Not by much, but as long as the ump calls it a strike, I'm going to be happy with that one. All right, so Molar kind of playing with fire here at the beginning of the game. I wouldn't want to walk the very first batter. We're going to try something low and inside. Swings and misses at the fastball here, so... I end up fighting my way back from that one. Kevin Millar gets it done. We've got out number one of the first inning. Just a few pitches later here for Kevin Millar. Going to go with the fastball. That one's going to go right down the line into the corner. And that one was just a few inches fair. Crazy. All right, so with that double here, that just means I really have to make sure that I'm very careful about the pitches that I throw. But we got two outs. Count is full. He's going to take this one deep in a left field. So I give up the home run. And that's going to be a two-run blast. So Kevin Millar really struggling in his first inning as a starting pitcher. Hopefully this is not you know, some uh, foreshadowing here of what we're going to be seeing with the career of Kevin Millar in triple A. The knuckleball. That one goes deep in the left field and it does get caught. So finally we get out of the inning, but... We allow that two-run home run, which was not pretty at all. That one goes over to the hot corner. Throw over to first. Kevin Millar helping the team out by forcing that ball onto the ground. So I know that if I can't get the strikeouts, I got to make sure that I get the ball on the ground here. And the knuckleball, while I can't necessarily control where that goes, it's one of those pitches that I think really does a great job of getting the ground ball out. So the slider is great for that as well. And I think eventually once I get to the point here where I'm in the majors, I may go ahead and purchase a fourth pitch and kind of build that up too. I'd like to do like a 12-6 a curve or just something else like that. But I don't know. We'll see where – what what or I should say we will see what I do with Kevin Millar. I got to work on things a little bit at a time. I still got to get that knuckleball down. That's my big thing right now is you know training as much as I can – make that knuckleball better because I really feel like my four seam is the best pitch for Kevin Millar. Gets a strikeout right there too. And then it's a slider. And then 
it's the knuckleball, which is supposed to be my dominant pitch. Plus, and I don't know if this is just, just me, but it seems like that the main pitch that I have, you know, always goes down a lot faster than, than the other ones, which is a surprise. I mean, I would expect that knuckleball be my dominant pitch just to kind of be maintained at uh, the level that it is throughout the game. Now, granted, of course, if the computer's getting a lot of hits off of the knuckleball, then it's going to decrease in its efficiency, but just not throwing it, I just don't get it, but whatever. All right, inning number three here for Kevin Millar. This one's going to get popped right up to the second baseman. So there's out number two. Kevin Millar having a lot better uh, pitching performance here when you take a look at innings two and three versus inning number one. All right, goes to short, makes a throw over to first. All right, so we can go back to the dugout just knowing we got it done. Inning four now, 1-1 one, one count. The knuckleball again making contact with that one, but that gets caught over at the warning track. See what I mean? I mean, this knuckleball should be a lot better than that. I'm kind of wondering if um, just, I don't know, if I could take a look at like R.A. Dickey stats or something like that, see if I can get my knuckleball up to that point. I really got to increase the velocity. That's the thing because I've got like Tim Wakefield's velocity right now, but I'd like to have R.A. Dickey uh, power with the knuckleball because he definitely has a powerful knuckleball. That's what makes his so unique and so efficient as well. But another high fly ball in the right field. Another inning done and over with for Kevin Millard. So we're doing good now. Fifth inning. 2-0. All right, still two to nothing. And that one rolls into center field, so I give up another base hit now. Kevin Millar, come on, we gotta get out of this one here. And I, I, I think we can. I just gotta play it safe, gonna throw the four seamer low. All right, there we go. Steps on second, makes a throw over to first. What a great double play that one is. And I'm gonna get some extra training points for it as well. Almost as much, or actually just as much if I had gone ahead and struck him out. One, two count, goes back to Kevin Millar. Just make the throw over to first, easy as that. Done a great job with comebackers now with uh, Kevin Millar. All right, so sixth inning now, 0-1 count. It's gonna be high into the gap. Not gonna go over the wall, but it is gonna roll to it. And that's gonna allow the runner to get over to second. And that's where he's gonna end up. So, I don't know what's going to happen right here. It looks like I'm going to be pulled at this point, which, I mean, I can understand. You know, I'm kind of worried about my performance here, especially since this is my first start. But at the same time, I mean, I'm not too worried about my performance here because the other or my team really didn't do anything hitting-wise until after I got off the mound. So my manager's mad at me, yet nobody on my team was really hitting. And gosh, I thought I did all right. I mean, inning number one wasn't pretty, but everything else I thought was good. But anyway, thanks for watching Kevin Millar's first AAA game. More of this to come, of course, later on. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, all that great jazz. All I got to do is just check that description below. But thanks again, you guys. And as always, I hope you have a good one.